good morning <laughs> i've just woken up in my new apartment ah. i'm really not a morning person i always say that i want to be a morning person we have to do small steps because i was definitely that bitch that was like i'm gonna get up at 5 a.m every single day and like go for a run and go to the gym and i know this because i just found my notebook of my 15 year old self making really silly weird goals this is my bedroom it has an ensuite ah! this cabinet to put your skincare and stuff in so i'm gonna have all my skincare here and whatever ah body lotions and stuff over here i've just bought these these are from primark and ready ready how good is that the sound quality is not like the best because it was only like 14 pounds but it's perfect and we're gonna make a morning smoothie in the neutral bullet just moved in yesterday and the first night was good because i've got my old bed back it's actually a memory foam mattress and i've been sleeping on all kinds of beds for a long time so this is a very exciting day i have this whole freezer to myself and it's massive today we're making a green juice i'm obsessed with green juice smoothies because i don't really eat greens like ever so the only way i eat them is when i trick myself so like when i make these smoothies they just taste like mango smoothies and you can't even taste the spinach i have been couch surfing all year since March because I randomly if you know you know I started getting seizures out of nowhere I've never had a seizure to my knowledge I've never had a seizure before in my life and then I was getting 10 sometimes more every day every day and it's not good so I'm really really grateful that I've now been able like yesterday finally moved into my own place it's such a relief don't have an impending sense of doom anymore, which is good. And moving forwards, I can finally do, like, if you know, I got an acting agent this year, which is so insane, because even though I have been struggling through this whole year, I've still managed to get things, like, done for myself. Well, because I had the time. An acting agent, on accident, mind you, because my good friend is with this boutique agency which is like an independent agency which is absolutely perfect for me as a beginner emerging artist to be with a boutique agent because boutique agents they really some of them the good ones the ones that i'm with they really take care of you and they foster your creativity and they give you the guidance and mentorship that you need whereas sometimes when you go with a big agency they just send you off with all their other clients and it's not so much of them like taking care of you but it just depends on, it does depend on agency to agency. I'm obviously not an expert, like I just said, I'm emerging. I had this meeting with my friend's agent. He was like, just take the meeting because you want to get into acting. So that would be logical. See what it's like and get an idea of what agencies are about and if that's something that you want to do. So I took this meeting in summer, but she was like, yeah, I think we'd be quite a good fit. And boom, got an agent. I mean, I was kind of shocked. Because I went into the meeting just like, oh, this is going to be fun. And I'm just going to like talk to this woman about being an agent or whatever. And then it turned into an opportunity. Woohoo! I'm going to blend this up. When I got my agent, I was on the phone to her. And I was actually in this really fancy apartment in Stratford. It was my actual dream apartment, basically. It was like floor to ceiling, windows, really fancy. Not the penthouse, but very close. And this woman had this shower head that was one of those really fancy ones that like spins or just spins. And it's like, oh, I, I want one of them in my life. And she had like Chanel skincare and it was, oh, she is fancy. And the whole reason I was staying in this random person's house was in summer, I randomly got a message from someone from my old drama school that we connected with. We did this musical theater workshop together and we add each other on Facebook and then this guy's called Steve, shout out to Steve. Steve hit me up 
and Steve was like, hello, hope you're well. Um, we are in a bit of a predicament. I'm doing this play at RADA, Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, darling. And our main character has, this actually sounds like a fairy tale, like what the hell? Our main character has dropped out. I will tell you more about this later. Our main character has dropped out. So we're really looking for a last minute replacement to be in this full length, like one hour play at RADA next week. Are you free? Can you do it? I was very free because I just had seizures all the time. And I was like, I mean, I have seizures sometimes, but when I do things I enjoy, they're minimal. So what I need to do is do more things that make me happy, like vlogging makes me happy, and it always has. Anyway, so I was like, absolutely, I could do this play. Oh, why did I commit, why did I commit myself like that? Like, who should I think I was? So I learned this whole play in three days. Then we had, I went up to London, stayed at this person's apartment, had two rehearsal days, and that was it. Then we performed the play. What? I was a ghost. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a ghost. So I'll just be like, woo, woo. But actually, no, I had so many lines. Tell me why. It was when he said the main character, like, it was mainly me. <laughs> I'm not saying I carried, but I carried. And that was such a good experience. But when I was staying at this apartment, that's when I took the meeting with this my agent. And she was like, Oh, that's really good that you're doing your own thing as well. And I think that helped because I'm quite a proactive person when it comes to doing things I actually want to do. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Oh, my dad's ringing me. I'm very proactive on things that I really like doing. If I don't want to do it, it's not happening. And I'm absolutely 100% not going to do it. So like, that's why I clean my room at like 3 a.m. sometimes because I just let it get super messy because I'm not proactive on the cleaning. I'm trying to be here because it's really nice and I just want to keep it really nice. So that's kind of a little bit of motivation. But, so for example, I was like, I want to be a blogger. So I, I, I bought a course, guys, I bought a course. Tell me why I bought a course. Anyway, I'm glad that I did because I figured out how to get on WordPress and make a blog, bam, bam. Did that. Then I decided that that blog, so that blog's called Helene Yasmin and it's not really a blog, please don't look it up. <laughs> so I had that and then I've decided that one is gonna be for my artist page cause I wanna do my own music, I wanna be a musician and I have songs coming out next year. I'm so excited, anyway. So had the Helene Yasmin website, which I decided I don't wanna have that as an actual blog, I want that to be like an artist website and have that really cute. So I was like, right, okay. And in 2020, I thought of an idea called Healing for Artists, and I never did much with it, because in my head, Healing for Artists is a community of people that do music, that act, that sing, all of that good stuff. They kind of want to connect with each other and learn stuff. I'm gonna have dance tutorials on that. It's gonna be really, really good. But before that, I'm trying to build the community. So I've made the Healing for Artists blog, which isn't live. Um, I've not written any blog posts yet. I'm trying to figure out how to lay it out. So I don't know how to put the latest posts in chronological order. It's, the format is a bit odd. So I'm trying to figure that out. But that's what I mean, like I'm trying to be proactive on things I actually want to do. Let's try this smoothie. That tastes like ice cream. Make that, wow. If you want a summer ice cream, make this smoothie it's so good this is the outfit of the day okay, we have the feeler jumper the i don't know how to pronounce this and i got these from a charity shop i think it's called machino dt underneath got some leggings and then boom the kappa socks it's gonna be the new balances because i wear them every day i'm going down to the town right now i look like i'm gonna do a paper round and i just did my nails they're the Grinch. They're so cute. I'm obsessed and I'm wearing makeup for once. I feel like this is a good look. Put me up with my friends. Day two. Just come to Primark and I've got my mum 
a really cute white gilet that she wanted for Christmas and I just picked up some cute little cargo jogging bottoms because again I do wear jogging bottoms pretty much every day so I just thought I'll get some cute ones they're a bit trendy and yeah and I got some fluffy socks Ooh. hello Chili hello just help she's a good she she wants friends how other dogs socialize yeah. This is so cute, picnic on the piste. And then these little pods, they light up. And I'm a child, so I'm going on them. My mum's literally like, oh my gosh, they change color when you stamp on them. Oh, that's cool. Obsessed with these birds. I've just come to Waterstones. I'm gonna find this book my friend wants. I don't know how I'm gonna find it. There's so many books. Mum's got some cheeros, they look so good. Is she bitten it? Stuck a mouth on it. A few moments later. Oh. The nicest thing just happened. The nicest thing just happened. Um, what the heck? the little card let's have a look <laughs> please I have the nicest boyfriend ever fellas every girl wants flowers if she says she doesn't she's lying every girl loves flowers this is the way to our hearts I'm gonna make some chicken wraps and fun fact, I hate touching raw chicken, so this is going to be fun. We're going for improvised, and I have my salted caramel iced coffee. Oh, this is so good. I haven't got to a place in my adult life yet where I can handle raw chicken. So, this is how I'm dropping it. Now, this is not a food channel. I can't cook very well. I have cooked the occasional meal and it's like miraculously turned out okay. That's not normal for me. When I was at uni, my flatmate Elle, I love you so much, she cooked all of our meals all of the time. And also my best friend Izzy, at school, she would also cook everything. So I've never had to cook for myself because you know I am not good at it so people don't really let me do it because I'm rubbish already so messy over there because I'm trying to organize the apartment and do a big clean I'm also re-watching New Girl for about what the fifth time I love it so much it's one of my comfort shows so I always have it on the go like I said I can't cook but I have this chicken seasoning which is really good I had it at uni a lot I'm gonna chuck some of that on and I'm gonna throw some of these in I'm hoping it'll taste okay. I, I don't know. Don't at me. I'm the one that's eating it, so hopefully it's good. And if it's not, my bad. I'm making some sort of honey spiced chicken. We'll see. That looks horrible, but I've got the chicken, melted the cheese. Boom, the most boring looking wrap ever. That was really good. I'm very happy.